later on July 22nd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. No name storms are active around the world this July 22nd. We're still at 34 name storms the year to date so far. There are a few invests that could develop though in the next few days dotted all around the world and we're about to find out where they are. In the Atlantic, Invest 94L is located just off the Bahamas on day 52 of hurricane season, although it is looking pretty unwell. In the Eastern Pacific, 97E has a 90% chance of forming into our next tropical cyclone in the Eastern Pacific on day 69 of the hurricane season. The NAS has died and no storms are in its wake. Uh, so the Western Pacific is back to quietness for the time being. And in the Southern Hemisphere, Invest 96S is currently located in the tropical zone in the South Indian Ocean out at sea. Invest 97E is the one we're picking up on today though, 25 miles per hour and 1008 millibars. Not looking that good on satellite imagery as you'll see a bit later, but it could develop into a tropical cyclone pretty soon. The National Hurricane Center are pretty confident on that. It's 430 miles from Isla Clarion, Mexico and over the next few days it will probably develop into a weak tropical storm as it moves towards the north and then northwest. You can see that island there on the screen onto the right there and you can see the uh, just about the southern tip of Baja California Sur and it will be moving quite clearly out to sea away from that area throughout the next week. Looking at wind shear near the where this system is developing right now, it is just about getting into the favourable range from a previously unfavourable range. Uh, down to about 15 knots right now, maybe sinking a little bit further towards 10 knots in the next few hours, and those conditions are becoming more favourable. Sea surface temperatures not looking too bad underneath this, and it should have a decent chance of having a short life at least. In the Atlantic, you uh, might struggle to see 94L because it looks pretty poor, very low cloud tops, uh, but it is there nonetheless. It looked better yesterday, I think, um, and is likely to move towards the west. Uh, models don't give it very long at all, though. Looking into the Gulf of Mexico, populated with quite a few thunderstorms on all sides, really, from the north Yucatan to the western tip of Cuba into Florida. The Eastern Pacific has Invest 97E on the right-hand side there, still developing, uh, still increasing in wind slowly, but it might be a little while before we get tropical storm status, we'll see. Uh, a swirl there in the central area which was 98E, and underneath Hawaii, uh, a system there with a 10% chance of formation, but you've got to admit it looks pretty good. In the Western Pacific, things looking very quiet now, um, one or two little disturbances. Um, but really nothing deviating from normalcy. Uh, and over the Philippines, uh, quite a lot of activity there, thunderstorms and rain showers extending up towards Taiwan and the southern coast of China. But nothing that will develop into a tropical cyclone. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this, fairly quiet, a few flare-ups off the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea, uh, extending over to Indonesia as well actually. And in the Indian Ocean it's mainly monsoonal further north in the southern hemisphere, 96S has a small chance of becoming a somewhat rare, rare tropical cyclone in the southern hemisphere in July. Has happened before, but it is pretty rare. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are very warm, 30 degrees plus along the coast of Mexico, extending all the way into the Gulf of California. Um, where the invest is right now, it's around 28 degrees Celsius. The Atlantic, very warm now in the Gulf and in the Western Atlantic. Uh, the Caribbean is uh, still warming and will take a little bit longer, but the heat potential is definitely there. The Indian Ocean warming up again along the east coast of India, up above 30 degrees once again. Gulf of Tonkin, the hot spot in the Western Pacific, one area there at the 32 degrees Celsius. And some areas there in the Philippine Sea as well, very warm there too. So looking at that floater imagery of Invest 97E, uh, there it is, it is starting to develop a potential circulation, uh, the rotation is increasing throughout the day, cloud top starting to flare up, we're looking for convection to start really blowing up near the center before it gets designated a tropical depression and we need to see those wind speeds start picking up a bit of pace as well. Uh, so, the next name on the Atlantic list will be Chantal. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Delilah. It could be about to arrive. The Central Pacific has Akoni as the next name on their list. 
in the western Pacific. The next name on the list there is Nari. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well, search Force 13 all in text, and you can send us a message through any of those mediums. That's all for tonight. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin up for you tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>